Hello, I'm Dr. Jose Lorenzo, from Madrid, and since the first World FUE Institute workshop is approaching, I would like to make a small tutorial on one of the topics which we will be dealing with in that meeting. Something very easy, but that requires a bit of attention to understand it. I refer to a new way to evaluate the coverage in the donor and recipient area, the coverage value, a term named and described by Dr. Corey Erdogan. Thus, we will be able to evaluate the quality of the donor area. What's the patient's total donor capacity, or how are we reducing the donor capacity with each procedure without depletion? And, on the other hand, in the recipient, how many grafts will be required to allow a minimal coverage in a certain area, or which coverage will have the area that we've just placed the grafts, and all of this based on mathematical calculations, something more scientific than the typical good, fair, or bad. Coverage value is the ratio of the follicular units per square centimeter multiplied by the hair per follicular unit and the average caliber of the hair, or what is the same, the number of hairs per square centimeter multiplied by the average caliber of the hair. Let's talk with numbers with a regular hair caliber, 55 microns or 0.055 millimeters and normal hairs per graft, 2.2, an average of 45 grafts per square centimeter is needed to cover the scalp, so 0.055 millimeters multiplied by 2.2 hair per follicular unit and by 45 follicular units per square centimeter is 5.4, so 5.4 is the number or coverage value that gives sense to the slightest coverage. Below that number you will have a diffuse alopecia, I mean, you will see the scalp. Let's go to an easy study case. This patient has a Norwa 2, right age, and right medication to plan a one procedure strategy. His total donor area is 204 square centimeters, and the estimated area to repair in his recipient is 31 square centimeters. We use the hair counter, a tool that we will describe and share with you in Tenerife. To know the density and hairs per square centimeter in the donor, temporal, parietal and occipital areas. We use the micrometer to know the thickness or caliber of the hair, again, in the three donor areas. Now is time to start using the coverage value Excel table, the second tool we are proud to share with you. In that Excel table, you must fill up only the blue cells on the pre-operation box and we will obtain all the data needed. So we must introduce the caliber, density, hair per graft and areas. The first information that we are going to receive is the coverage value of the donor area, 9 in temporal and 11 in parietal and occipital. To give you a little bit of information I will tell you that a good donor varies between 10 and 15. Secondly, we will know the total numbers of donor hairs, and total number of follicular units available in the safe area. Total donor area, hair per follicular unit, in temporal parietal and occipital area, average hair per follicular unit and average caliber will be also displayed. Next, in donor evaluation box, we will know the grafts that could be extracted in the whole life of the patient to reduce the coverage of that area to the desirable value. For example, in this case we used a 5.4 coverage value, that is the minimum allowed, and we obtained that we could extract 9,600 grafts, that's mean the 47% of the donor. In the pictures on the side we can see the summary of the data, area, density, hair per follicular unit and coverage value of each donor area. Now, to have the post-op data we need another tool, the graft counter, an app developed by Dr. Kwai Erdogan, where we have an accurate description of all we did during extraction, number of grafts, hairs per grafts, 
graphs per area and graph sorted by follicles, singles, doubles, triples and so. In the donor post box, once we have filled up the grafts extracted in Harper graph square, we will know the hair is harvested per area and the total number of hairs, and automatically the estimated post coverage value will be displayed. An interesting number that we can check if the patients came for a second procedure. Again in the picture we can compare now the pre and estimated post coverage value. Let's continue, in the recipient pre box, with the estimated recipient area, that we have measured in the pre-op, we can know the total graphs needed for a particular coverage value. For example in this case, for a 5.4 coverage value, we will need 1525 graphs. But because we want to place 2000 graphs to achieve 65 graphs per square centimeter, our pre-recipient coverage value will be 7.13. Lastly, in the recipient post box, we have to add the graphs placed, the real recipient area, measured after the surgery, the real density measured with the dermalite, in this case 67 grafts per square centimeter, and the total hair per graft rate, that we can obtain from the graft counter, and, we will have the estimated recipient coverage value, where density comes from graft placed, and real recipient area, and, the real recipient coverage value, where density comes from the one measured with the dermalite in an isolated point. I hope you can see this video a couple of times, stopping where you need to understand all the concepts. We want to free share our Excel coverage value table in the Hair Counter app that will be available to all participants who attend the workshop. We know that experience means a lot when we are talking about donor management and coverage, but as happened to me, this numbers had opened my mind in an exponential way. Hope to see you all in Tenerife where we will be debating this and other issues on FUE technique. Remember, First World FUE Institute Workshop, to be held on the 11th to 13th of November in Tenerife, Canary Island, Spain. Thanks.